My name is Honest Gil Fulbright, and I want to be president of these United States. Now, it seems that every candidate's got some kind of gimmick these days, so here's mine. I will be 100% honest with you about everything. Face it, I am a puppet for special interests and lobbyists, and I will break any campaign promises that rub my donors the wrong way. I guarantee it. But I will do it straight to your face. Now, friends, as a lifelong Republican, or a Democrat, whoever's picking up the tab, I have traveled all over this great country of ours and pretended to listen to people. I listen to them as they talk about our broken political system. Oh, the liberals, they like to complain about evil corporations buying politicians, putting profits ahead of what is best for our country. Conservatives are upset about high taxes and wasteful spending and a government that's out of touch with the people. But the truth is, our government is working. And I know regular people say, hey, it's not working for me. Well, to the special interest who bankroll my campaign, it's working up a treat, my friends. <laughs> now, I know this crowd. They want a small government that doesn't interfere with their lives. But friends, big moneyed interests, they love a big, expensive government. It pays. For example, the last few years, 200 big companies have invested more than $5 billion in lobbying and campaign contributions. And for that, they get $4.4 trillion in uh, taxpayer money. And this is going to be spent on subsidies, pork projects, private contracts, union handouts alike. Now, these companies are donating right now to most of the Republican candidates, promising to reduce the size of government and cut wasteful spending. But they're also donating right now to most of the Democratic candidates, promising to stand up to the power of big corporations. Now, it's this kind of bipartisan leadership that we need. <laughs> Members of both parties coming together to compromise their most heartfelt beliefs uh, in exchange for some money. <laughs> now, this is the part of the speech where I vaguely mentioned policy ideas that later you can't hold me accountable for. <clears throat> I have solutions. Solutions like repealing Obamacare, and replacing it with bigger handouts for insurance providers and drug companies. My friends, I have a plan to fix immigration, but I don't know what it is yet because I cannot find a donor who specializes in building big walls or retractable domes. But as soon as I do, trust me, I'll make that work. I think it's time that we shore up our military's defense contractors. Now, if the Navy and the Army, they don't want aircraft carriers filled with exciting laser tanks, well, that's just what they're going to get. <laughs> and friends, it is this kind of cronyism that our government excels at. As some president said once, I, I, I'm paraphrasing here, ask not what your country can do for you, pay a lobbyist to ask your country what it can do for you. <laughs> Is that what he said? Now, there are some naysayers out there that say that I can't win. Some claim that I'm fake. Some say that I'm making a mockery of the entire political process. Well, friends, these are just strong traits that I share with many of my fellow candidates. <laughs> now, others have pointed out uh, that uh, I'm not actually on the ballot anywhere. But despite this obstacle, I'm still in a dead heat with Lindsey Graham. But the truth of the matter is, the competition are stiffs. I mean, the competition is stiff. <laughs> Excuse me. Take Jeb Bush. Now, there's a guy who's raised hundreds, millions of dollars without saying anything of any appreciable substance. His donors actually call him a straw man uh, stuffed with cash. <laughs> and then there's Hillary. Now, she's smart. She's full of good ideas. I'm just not sure what they are. They probably got erased with her email history. My hat is off to both of them because they can fundraise. Oh, man, can they fundraise? And that's what it's all about. In fact, this is true. The same lobbying firm that raises money for Hillary Clinton is also raising money for Jeb Bush, John Kasich, and Marco, uh, <coughs> Marco, excuse me.
Marco Rubio. <laughs> My point is, and I do have one, in fact, I will say anything to get your money. There it is. Liberty, Eagle, Ronald Reagan. I, Thank you. The flag. the flag, yeah, American flag even. Yeah. All of us establishment politicians, well, we're all the same. We give lip service to this money issue, and, but behind closed doors in the back rooms, we're making some deals. Yeah? Now the difference, the Gil Fulbright difference is, I promise to make those back room deals in the front room, outdoors, I, whatever. Well, now, obviously, I, I need that uh, normal people to think that I care about them because the donors love that. They love that. And, you know, we always have some sort of five-point plan to do something good. So here is my five-point plan. Number one, first, I propose that all Americans be independently wealthy. <laughs> Trust me, that's a great way to get hurt. It's a great way because you can donate tons of money to campaigns and super PACs. And trust me, people will listen. Second, be a lobbyist. Lobbyists, they get to get cozy with politicians. They actually get to write laws, and they generally, they just have a fistful of our legislators right by the bills. <laughs> Third, don't not be a lobbyist. This is very important. Because if you are not a lobbyist in the first place, you know, you can't be one if you're not a lobbyist in the first place. Makes you think, doesn't it? And, and fourth, for goodness sake, have a skybox seat to some red skin dance, would you? You know, and fill that sucker up with cocktail weenies. Well, I love cocktail weenies. Really, I would hand over the nuclear codes for a plate full of cocktail weenies. <laughs> now, that is my five-point plan. And it takes concrete steps to make sure that we can foster even more lucrative political corruption. Now, of course, there are those who want to stop this corruption. Can you believe that? They want to end the party in Washington. This would be a disaster for politicians like me. If legislators can't be bought, then we would have some sort of what, constitutional republic where any Joe Sixpack or Susie Boxed Wine has a voice in government. Do you really think that our founding fathers wanted a government of, for, by, for the people? You know? No. No one would put that many propositions in a sentence, would they? No. Don't make sense. Bad writing. So I'm here today to challenge my fellow candidates, both sides of the aisle. I want them to pledge to do nothing. Do nothing. Sign my pledge. Do nothing. Keep taking money from special interests and lobbyists. Keep that sweet, sweet cash flowing. Keep paying lip service to the issue of corruption, but don't do anything about it, for goodness sake. Let's keep the party going in Washington. I'm having a grand time. And I'm proud to announce almost all the candidates have implicitly signed this pledge. Yeah. And I want to thank them for their continued support. I mean, the blank stare I take is a yes. So. <laughs> and finally, my friends, the American people, they're speaking loud and clear. They're sick of politicians who uh, say one thing and then do another. They're sick of cronies who sell them out behind their back. And they're sick of fake politicians who make a mockery of our government. It's time to do something real about it. So I want you to remember that straw poll. You get the chance again tomorrow. Vote for Gil Fulbright. Write my name in the ballot. Let's send a message loud and clear. We do not want another spineless mouthpiece for special interest and lobbyists. We would like a spineless mouthpiece for special interest and lobbyists. <laughs> My name is Honest Gil Fulbright, and I want to be your next spineless president. Thank you. God bless you. God bless money. Hi, it's Honest Gil Fulbright, and this is what I like. If you want to throw some money at me, go to our Indiegogo page so we can make more of these videos. Thanks.